Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at Polestar. Brilliant news for Polestar fans and Polestar car owners. The Polestar 2 gets an over-the-air update, that's a performance boost, without the hassle of a subscription. So Polestar the company isn't actually asking you to subscribe to a service, no, they're just offering you an option to upgrade your car at a premium cost. It's not cheap, but it makes a lot of sense from Polestar. Now the EV company is offering a 68 horsepower upgrade to customers for a one-time fee of $1,195. Now other automakers are locking similar performance boosts behind an annual paywall. Behind an annual paywall. And more companies are starting to offer these upgrades as part of a subscription. But the subscription service does become quite controversial. So it's quite interesting that Polestar offering this at just a one-time fee. I think a lot of people appreciate that. Now the upgrade would add about 68 horsepower and 15 pound-feet of torque to the existing 408 horsepower and 487 pound-feet of torque. This is being offered to the Polestar 2's dual motor powertrain for a total output of 476 miles an hour. So I think currently these cars are around 408 brake horsepower. They will get a performance boost up to 476 miles an hour. That's crazy. And from 487 to 502 pound-feet of torque. More torque to your Polestar car. Because the upgrade is a software-based upgrade, the performance boost can be downloaded directly to the vehicle without needing to take it to the service center. The performance upgrade is only available to owners of the long-range dual-motor version of the Polestar 2 and not the single-motor version. Now, after paying for the upgrade, customers of Polestar 2 EVs will see a 0 to 60 acceleration reduction to 4.2 seconds. The company say the additional power and torque will primarily be felt at speed between 44 to 80 miles an hour, resulting in even more rapid mid-range acceleration. Zooming from 50 to 75 will take just 2.2 seconds and a whole half a second quicker than a standard dual motor. And a whole half a second quicker than a standard dual motor Polestar 2. Now the upgrade marks the first time that Polestar has offered a performance boost for its North American customers. And while OTA updates are now new, Tesla has been offering them for years. But of course, remember guys, Polestar is new to the space. They haven't been around as long as Tesla. Polestar has been selling cars since 2020, but majority in 2021. I think they sold about 19,000 or 29,000 in 2021. We're going for 50,000 this year. So comparing Polestar and Tesla together is not really a fair comparison because the two companies have been in completely different trajectories. Tesla has been making cars since 2007. Then in 2012, they debuted the, the, the Tesla Model S. So Tesla has been around for just so much longer. Now they're still somewhat novel by many car owners. For example, legacy automakers are still struggling to perform a system that is seamless and useful as a Tesla. And now, as you can see, Polestar is becoming quite similar to Tesla. They have their own system and they can just send out updates, over-the-air updates, quite simple, very futuristic, like Tesla. And given that they haven't been in the space for such a long time, I've got to say that's quite impressive to see them doing this well. I mean, that's a lot of horsepower to offer in just one upgrade. It's a lot. Now, Polestar also says they want to avoid the hassle of a subscription. A lot of people simply don't want to have additional subscription. When you got to pay for your other subscription, you just don't want more. So Polestar is offering a one-time fee, of course, and I think that's very fair. Maybe in the future, they will give you a choice. You can either pay one-time payment or you can pay a premium or you can pop or you can perhaps pay a subscription. So you can have different options, maybe in the future. Now, meanwhile, other automakers are showing an increase in willingness to lock certain options and performance upgrades behind a paywall, which means a subscription. Mercedes-Benz, for example, said it would charge a yearly subscription of $1,200 for a fee of horsepower and torque improvement for the EQE and EQS owners. That's crazy. That's $1,200 a year. Per year, that's actually quite crazy for Mercedes. This is similar to the price you'll pay for your Polestar upgrade, but this is a one-time fee for your Polestar upgrade, while Mercedes will be charging you the same amount every single year. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane, Mercedes. 
Now, as a global sales for new cars have fallen in recent years, car manufacturers have pivoted towards selling software updates and features as subscriptions to generate a continuous revenue stream long after a car has been purchased. Now, while this does make sense for certain software-specific offering, such as premium navigations, features or remote vehicle monitoring, Mercedes' decision to paywall its vehicle performance is part of a more risky, emerging trend that sees auto brands restricting the capabilities of hardware that have already come factory equipped with the vehicle. In fact, I think BMW is doing something quite similar with their heated seats. The car comes with the capabilities of heated seats or heated steering wheels. However, if you would like to use these features, you have to pay a subscription. You have to pay extra. It's quite controversial at the moment. But there are some people, regardless of anything, they'll still buy Mercedes, they'll still buy BMW, and those are the audience BMW and Mercedes are targeted. And those are the audience that Mercedes and BMWs are primarily targeting. Now, remind you, Polestar is a subsidiary of Volvo and Geely. Polestar is slightly better positioned to capitalize on vehicle connectivity to upsell its customers and performance boost in software upgrades. The company started out as a performance sub-brand of Volvo, and it was actually a racing brand at a certain point, and it has since evolved into its own unique mark as an electric vehicle, a premium electric brand, to aim to capitalize a sizable chunk of the premium and luxury market in the US. And ultimately, worldwide. Polestar is going worldwide. And this is why I'm so motivated by this company and so moved by the things that they're doing. It is really impressive to see. And Polestar do continue to impress us time after time. Now you can buy the updates through the Polestar web shop and it will apply over the air. It's included in a new vehicle. If you opted for the $5,000 performance pack, you won't have to visit a store. There's no word of comparable upgrade for the single motor yet or availability in other regions. So perhaps Polestar will bring additional updates to the single motor version in the future. But for now, they're starting with the dual motor. This update to the Polestar vehicle won't suddenly give the Polestar an edge over the Tesla Model 3 performance. Tesla Model 3 typically tops out at 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds or other particularly quicker EVs. And while this one-off purchase, you're still paying for something your car could technically handle before, it just didn't have that upgrade. Polestar had to work on introducing that upgrade. It's not as simple as it seems. Now you're ultimately compensating Polestar for development time because they've put development in this technology to improve it, and then they can send you out the upgrade. Because it's not components, it's all upgrades internally of the, of the machine. Now this won't be quite thrilling if you prefer the days when paid upgrades were directly connected to better hardware. Yeah, those days are gone. Like if you wanted your vehicle to go faster, you have to physically upgrade certain parts of the car like the turbo. Or you can actually bring your, or you can actually get your car tuned up to specific customization so the car can actually handle faster speed and it will actually allow you to go faster. Those days are quite over. It's, it's all about software updates now. I really find it fascinating to see that Polestar is doing this. It's a lot of upgrade for customers and I think customers will be quite happy with this boost to speed because driving an electric car is so different. No one beats you on the road when it comes to acceleration. It just goes quick. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in our next video.